This message is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. I am Nessa Ray, and I am also Aquarius, Sun, and Rising, Capricorn, Moon, in the 11th house. Under Sag, though. Makes me a little feisty. Makes me passionate, kind of. Really flighty. <laughs> Anyways, so... I started this video a second ago right after I shuffled, but I didn't realize the camera wasn't working. But I pulled some cards from a deck I made. Just me missing pieces of the puzzle, like different ideas on how to get better in touch with yourself. But two cards came out. First one is divine time. Hold on to the moments that just flow. So you want to, if you're in a flow with either yourself and your timings is on, this is the time. Right now, there's going to be synchronicities around you and expression. So everything is coming in to a flow for you. Everything in motion stays in motion. So once you take that leap of faith or follow that synchronicity, Things are just going to fall into place for you, moment by moment. Just be in the moment and make sure you're in the moment for it to manifest for you in the way you like it or want it or to see. To create a vibe for yourself, um, right here, create a, a vibe box. So you can create moments just for yourself to embrace yourself. So this is like giving yourself a date. Take an essence of everything you love set that sets the right mood for you. So different smells, maybe candles, maybe certain bath salts, maybe a vibe mixtape, you know. Back when I was a teenager, mixtapes were uh, the bomb. <laughs> You know, recording them off of the little cassette CD thing when the radio was playing. <laughs> Just to listen to them in the car. But for trips, maybe. Maybe plan a trip. Do some craft. Like, do things that you like that set the mood for you. So you can have it in, and it's just set for you. So make yourself a date night, maybe. You just want to be in the energy and a relaxed energy that's in the moment. Bring yourself to that. So when you're in active, when you're active and stuff around the day, different parts of the day, you can still remain in the moment. Maybe even just cleaning the house. You can be in the moment and bring yourself to the moment when you're doing the dishes and stuff. And then, oh, maybe your favorite song just came on. Maybe it was just, it just flows. And those are the moments that you want. And you can create that for yourself, too. And look forward to it. Just don't want to put expectation. Too much expectation. Or perfectionism, I should say. Because sometimes a little OCD. And I don't go forth with certain things. But it just keeps me off my game. Can I have a general message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising? This is the Shaman Oracle deck, Mystic Oral Oracle deck. It's my favorite one, even though I stuttered on the name. But the, the images on these cards are just beautiful. I like the muted Indian tones. I love the Native American. I love it so much. I went through a spiritual awakening and I got in touch with that side of me. Turns out I've been in touch with it a lot while, a long while. Just didn't see the moments. Nature is very connected to me. I'm one with nature. I did not see 
certain birds. So synchronicities, it doesn't even have to be numbers necessarily. It could be different animals or different things that remind you of someone or something in your life, a moment in your life. It'll just bring you calmness. I see calmness in this flow of energy that you either create for yourself or when it just comes in, just be willing to accept it and follow where it leads you. So everything in motion stays in motion. So if you want that flow of energy, just continue on. Let's see here. It says time to read. Um, readers are leaders. The more knowledge, the more power. Your mind will see people as a whole. So, reading. I know I had to start reading and push myself to read because I was dyslexic. I am dyslexic, but I'm learning through that. So I try to, me, I have ADD, so I have to read in segments. I don't, I can't have the attention to just sit there, read a whole book beginning to end for some reason. My mind is here and it's here and it's here and it's here. To bring it to center, it's a little hard for me. A lot of times I have to use art to center myself because it brings me to that moment. I can put it into my art or where whatever I'm focused on, but it has to be creative for some reason. I'm really, I have an artistic type of personality. I see symbols. I can read symbols better than I can read words, but working on that. General message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Cycles. Cycles. We're dealing with cycles of emotions. Well, you know, Aquarius, we like to just cycle around and through people and different groups of people like we're not actually a part of them but we are <laughs> it's a part of our uh, letting go and detachment style we think we're detached because we're not always there but we always come back around <laughs> let's see here I have some type of enlightenment trying to come in, but there's some sort of healing in some sort of communication with a shadow version of yourself, two, two partnerships, one, four. So someone is speaking as their old self maybe i don't know what that means to anybody but maybe someone's reliving their shadow self when they've already healed and been enlightened of the situation maybe someone's keeping themselves trapped in this um lower aspect of themselves not having the wheel of healing come together so this medicine wheel came out when it was in reverse with this lightning so lightning enlightenment energy source so we have cursed but her hands covering her mouth like everything she speaks is just darkness maybe he it could be he it doesn't necessarily have to be a she so we're gonna have to gonna have to i don't want to tell anybody what to do hold up wait a minute let me bring it back a minute all right so thunder someone's not eating healthy we aren't eating healthy at this time i shouldn't say we but yeah 
I have five and six. So a transformation on health and balance is trying to manifest. Ten. The corn. Thunder. So someone needs to take action on do, eating better or having a different... Schedule of eating, maybe? It needs to be balanced, though. What someone's intaking is not helping them. It actually is hurting them. Something is trying to heal within them. Maybe a sickness. Maybe a sickness. I don't want to say sickness. Someone's just feeling unhealthy. A run down, maybe. She's jittery so maybe someone just feels run down and without energy trapped in a cycle of hmm. maybe someone's overeating because of some emotional imbalance i don't know i just seen her take intaking all this food it looked like a shovel she was shoveling it in her mouth Made me want to say that. But it's causing like distorted energy. So what we eat balances us. It creates our mood. Food creates the mood. Period. Point blank. Too much sugar, you're all up in your mind. Your mind's going, 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 going. But you have no energy because it's not processing in your body. So it's not helping. So I see... I see someone trying diets, maybe, over again, but they don't make it stick. Like, it's not filling or something. I'm seeing this empty spot by her stomach. Someone's growing. No. And not in a healthy way. <laughs> 37. Three and seven, another 10. So balance is trying to manifest. Three and one, new beginning of balance. Someone needs to take action on some sort of diet plan that they had, they were thinking about. Some health, something about health right now. Let me get some more cards. Yeah. Get some chakra energy. Maybe we can pull out and understand what energies are being blocked or trying to be what's out of flow what can we bring back into flow what chakra is out of balance Aquarius sun moon rising Aquarius sun moon rising what is out of balance what can we better focus on within ourselves to balance out? Liberation. Something is going to liberate you. An inner truth that is being held back at this time. Some truth. Higher knowledge. Someone needs to see the truth in themselves. It'll liberate them. I see a third eye, crown chakra, throat chakra, a new way of perspective. Some truth needs to come out. Truth about a third eye, crown, what's going on around you in the environment? What's happening? What's manifesting? Hmm. I dropped the card. Inner witness, not hearing your own truth, not seeing your own truth, not speaking your own truth, maybe. What's happening? Is someone holding back? Someone's holding back a tower moment, maybe? Holding back. Holding back the truth from themselves, though, because this is inner. Spiritual truth is your own growth. So... The own, your own situations you brought yourself to. 
Speak yourself the truth. Speak truth into your own self. And when that starts flowing and you start getting more connected and understanding what's happening around you, stay in the flow of that. Keep understanding. Keep moving towards that growth, that inner witness, that that gut gut feeling is trying to speak. So if you feel like you're being trapped in a cycle and making the same choices over again and filling your emotional state with things that are unhealthy, then you're going to, you know, fall back into the, the lower aspect of yourself. It's just going to keep repeating. It's just going to keep shaking you up. The universe is trying to wake you up. Time to take action. Trying to drum up a new timeline for yourself. I see a coyote and the crow. Some darkness is just keeping you hindered, maybe. I don't know. Let me pull some more chakra energy. Third eye chakra, though. Someone's not listening to their inner guidance. Someone's not speaking out when they want, they need to, or maybe some, some help needs asked. Maybe someone needs to ask for help. Hmm. Is there any more chakra energy we can we can open up? More crown chakra I wanted to come out. More crown chakra. Someone is being enlightened at this time. There's an enlightenment, but it's in the healing. It's with the healing. So some healing has to take place. It was with a diet, though, because the corn came out. So someone is ingesting. Maybe this isn't diet. Maybe it's just the surrounding. Someone's ingesting something. But trying to cover up it, the, an emotional body with it. Like... Stress diet, stress eating. I do that. Stress eating is bad. And it is always the wrong choices. <laughs> it's always the wrong choice. It's always the sugary, delicious thing that makes me want to feel better. Brilliance. Your heart is asking you to balance this out. Because it needs maybe... Let me see. So food is our mood. And the heart chakra wanted to come out. So there's an emotional imbalance right now. And the body is asking you to, to eat better. Basically, it's about your diet. <laughs> Which is probably a, this is probably my rating. High vibrational diet. Especially if your crown chakra is opening up in your third eye. Because now your gut and your um, mind want to communicate. So your gut feeling. So you want to be open and balanced with that energy to come in. Yeah, some gut instinct is trying to... Some inner knowing is trying to shake you up. And tell you the truth and speak to you around you and the synchronicities. That's what synchronicities are trying to tell you. Pay attention to them. It'll lead you to the health that you need. It'll lead you to the truth that you need to see, either within yourself or a situation. But I feel like this is more self right now. Some some self soothing soothing, but it's not in healthy ways. Maybe it's not just diet maybe it's what you're speaking speaking on yourself your shadow self is maybe maybe you're fighting that right now within yourself there's some sarcasm here too so some harshness is is being had and lashed out maybe trying to hide your truth behind sarcasm Maybe, is there any more 
Transformation. Yeah. It's going through a transformation right now. Enlightenment is trying to take hold, but there's an unhealthy diet in the situation. It's keeping you from seeing the synchronicities because you're not listening to your higher self. What you are ingesting at this time is not keeping you connected with your spiritual truth. Some sort of release or another type of self-soothing situation to bring you back to your heart center. Some light needs shined on some of the choices that are being made at this time. Health choices, for sure. Health. Is there any signs? Is there any... I'm going to pull some zodiac signs, maybe... Um, this will represent you because I know not all everybody that's watching is Aquarius. Maybe you are cross watching or you have Aquarius in your chart. You just want to see that aspect of your house transforming and manifesting at this time. Because some of the things I say, maybe if you hear this, you can see this trend, you can see this in your own life. Even if I even if this story doesn't pertain to you, it'll bring you to a moment where you need to self-realize. Maybe it's a situation on TV or something. Like, pay attention to your surroundings with certain things you listen to and hear tarot's re tarot readers telling you. Because everything will manifest in your life. It's just about the scenario and how it comes out. So if you take yourself out of this situation, you will see that not only you are dealing with these type of problems in emotional challenges, but um, the people around you too. Maybe someone needs your support and maybe you are the healthy one. You And you can tell somebody or help somebody along. Share the love. Pay it forward, yo. Pay it forward. Is there any signs? Some zodiac signs that Aquarius is dealing with at this time? Some zodiac signs. Aquarius energy again. Uranus. Some type of enlightenment is coming through. Some type of balance. Definitely. With your ego. Balancing out this ego and your instincts and the actions you're taking based on them. What you're trying to give off right now. Let's see here. Venus, that's Taurus. So we have Libra, Taurus. We have Aquarius again. We also have North Node because Uranus is the North Node because it's Epiphany, it's liberation, it's transformation it's a different type of emotional understanding for oneself that is trying to balance out at this time and libra also represents venus seventh house venus reflection emotional reflection yeah definitely create yourself a vibe box Maybe make create yourself a better diet plan and then you can create a vibe box. Maybe you can grant yourself little treats or something like pick a day and give yourself a little date where you pull this box out and you have your, your little treat. Like you stayed in a flow, a health flow. And at the end you get to, you know, love yourself, <laughs> nourish yourself. Comfort yourself, love yourself, give yourself what you need because that right person will come along and give you what you need right after that happens because you know what you need now. You know what you're lacking within yourself and you know what's even a bigger blessing when you can feel that yourself. <laughs> some of you dealing with a cancer or some type of manipulation around you, some sort of manipulated energy. Uh, but 
yin and yang. I see some sort of balance trying to take hold. There is a flow coming. There will be synchronicities in your life telling you how to transform this moment to moment. Pay attention. Third eye and crown chakra is here. And if you start speaking the truth and your inner truth, then you definitely can start aligning better with what's going on and how you want it to be. Not that you have control over people around you, but you definitely can ground yourself and make better choices or be in more alignment of the choices or the understanding of the choices you're making. Two cards fell. Four of swords and the emperor energy. Yeah. <laughs> Some sort of power. I see the rebirth that has taken place. You've been led to a new situation of resolution of self, of revelation of self. And that emperor energy, they just want you to embrace that power and that knowledge and that, that truth. Your own truth. It's a beautiful thing. It keeps you. It definitely keeps you in the moment. When you can see your own truth. Because then you know the truth. Of everything that's happening around you too. And if it's for you. Or not for you. I have a message for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. So Aries too, Aries is here. Four of swords, air, more air energy. So we had Libra Aquarius, Libra Aquarius, Cancer. Yeah, Manipula manipulating your own energy, having more self-control. This is about self right now. Self-help, self-achievement, self-soothing. Nourishing yourself, learning to nourish yourself for sure. To be in the moment with oneself, to let your life just flow as is. Having too much control and manipulation, it keeps you out of balance. Take a moment for yourself. Take an adventure, plan an adventure. Plan an adventure and save up for it. You'll know when the time is right because it'll tell you, it'll show you. These synchronicities will pop up. Yeah, I, one, one, five, or four, excuse me. <laughs> we have four. So home, four, again, four, four, one, two. A new love for self is trying to enter and open, open up. Open up to yourself. Open up to the love for yourself. And taking care of yourself is the best love you can show yourself. and Give yourself. Let me see if I can get a few more cards. This one on a little long, but definitely worth it. I know I need to eat better right now, too. I've been in my fields. And love is always, or food is always there to love me, yo. <laughs> I know what he means by it. Message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. 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 Yeah. I see the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So some type of uh, harsh attitude. Sharp, quick-witted. I see... I have here the fool with the eight of cups. 
So a new beginning, walking away from a new beginning, but walking deeper into an emotional state because I see the, the moon is getting brighter. Maybe walking away from the hidden emotion, the dark emotion, to see the light emotion. Walking towards the light, the light, the lightness that, like, uplifting emotion. Walking towards the uplifting emotion. See, they were carrying too many cups, carrying too much water, too much baggage. Not baggage, I shouldn't say baggage, that seems harsh, but maybe carrying someone else's emotions and you needed to let that go. Walking away from that, there's eight cups here. So there's too many cups for one person. When you're traveling, you need one cup. When you're going towards a new beginning, is it a new beginning for yourself? Are you trying to satisfy another person with your new beginnings? Are you going after what you want? Are you doing it for you or for another? Are you trying to balance too many things around you? And now it's depleting you and now you feel like in a state of lack and you're trying to fill that by overindulging maybe but then when people come towards you and to help you you stand back you keep yourself disconnected detached like Aquarius do you keep yourself in this defensive mode where this these, this enlightenment that's trying to come in because pentacles don't necessarily have to be finances pentacles can be any type of abundance or what you see as an abundance see I see knowledge as as abundance I have it but only to share it and I would like to share it but I haven't learned how to express it all the way I guess my communication is a bit finicky it was suppressed for a long time. I suppressed it in, in my diet, honestly. But some sort of Ten of Pentacles is trying to manifest because the Ten of Pentacles is here. But it looks like there's too many burdens and too much defense, too much combativeness to even let in who was to bring the abundance towards you. We have the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So some truth needs to be spoken or said. I have the Fool here. The Fool is all about new beginnings and enlightenment. More Uranus energy. So you could be dealing with another Aquarius or this is, I feel, like all about self of something that's overburdening you, you needed to walk away because it was uh, the new beginning seemed to bring the lightness and the fun and everything, but there was still a shadow. What you're now looking for and towards is a brighter, lighter energy. You just have to speak the truth and see the truth and let your guard down to speak your truth to yourself. So you can do this and maybe um, start a journal, journal entry. Because in order to be in this flow energy that's trying to come in and stay in motion, you're going to have to take the lead of your own life and the actions. Take responsibility for your actions. The actions that weigh, or not actions, but what is weighing you down? What are you feeling in lack of? What are you filling 
what void are you trying to fill within yourself? Try different ways to fill that energy. Find different things you like to do or that bring you in the moment so you can better nurture yourself in other ways. Yeah, some truth. Truth needs to come out to self. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. My name is Nessa Ray, and I'm sorry this was such a downer, <laughs> but we'll have new energy. We're going to get there, Aquarius. We're still indecisive about our lives right now, okay? We have a lot going on. <laughs> 2023, though, we're going to come back into uh, our greatness. We're in a great shift right now. We're trying to raise everybody's vibration on this planet. It is the age of Aquarius. We are here to be seen. Make sure we're seeing ourselves first. All right. Thank you.